Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to be checking out Pop OS for the Raspberry Pi 4. So let's get started. Now, Pop! OS is one of those operating systems that I love. Um, I've been using them for a while, and that's the operating system that actually got me into GNOME. Before that, I was either using tiling window managers or the GNOME Classic or Cinnamon, stuff like that. But ever since I started using Pop! OS, I kind of switched over and played around with GNOME more and more, and I've been using it ever since. It's my default environment of choice. Pop! OS for Raspberry Pi is actually in beta. I saw it on a tweet the other day, and there was a download link, and I, that's where I got it. I'll, I'll leave a link to the download link and also to a tweet so you guys could get your image as well. Now, as of recording this video, it's only been, I think, a couple of days old since that tweet, so... This is very, very fresh, and I, again, this is beta. I, I've ran into a few issues already, so yeah, just keep in mind you will run into those. First, the installation went without a hitch. It was super easy to install. It's actually pretty quick. I think they're using a new installer where it just goes through the install like in five, 10 minutes, and you'll be presented with the fresh desktop right over here. Now, one of the things I do like that they incorporated is tiling windows, and I did have my chance of testing it earlier in the builds, but it wasn't as stable as it is now. So I'm very happy to see Pop! OS on Raspberry Pi with all the extensions compiled and everything working for it. Um, again, I did run into issues, especially running into show applications. It's blank. I know that it was working at one point and then when I rebooted it, it stopped working. So I don't know what's going on over here. But if I was to go into anything, you could see that it is gonna pop up but the applications are all gone. I don't know what happened to it. Tiling window manager does work. And if I was to open, say a file manager and maybe a terminal, and if I was to switch over to tiling window manager, you'll see that everything is working. Now, if I pop over to a new one, yep, that will be working as well. And they have their own new application. Well, I think it's Rofi that they're using but you could use the Windows key or the super key and pull up their little file manager as well. So if I wanted to you know, type something in like system monitor, uh, I rather prefer using something like this, the little Rofi icon that they have over here versus using their application anyway, because it's a little bit easier when you're using a desktop. A couple of things I did notice about this is uh, it is running a little bit slow. It is sluggish. It doesn't feel as fast as if you were to install Ubuntu onto Raspberry Pi. So it does feel a little bit sluggish. And because I had a few things open, I'm not gonna get a perfect reading on this as far as the resources taken. Uh, this is 1.4 gigs. I think when I would, did a fresh boot, it was like right around 1.1 or one gig. So uh, I have about 200 megabytes cached up. Otherwise, it is working. Again, this is beta. And as you can see, I'm starting up Firefox right now and it is sluggish. I wonder if it's doing the same thing as 2010 where they didn't install Firefox directly, but they're using a snap package. That way the first boot is slow. So let me close this out and try to restart Firefox again. And if it starts up a lot faster this time, then I know it's a snap package. It's possible. I think it is the snap package version. So in Ubuntu 2010, moving forward, they install Firefox as a snap package. And one of the biggest gripe about Snap is that the initial startup of any application is sluggish. It's, it takes forever to start up, but after you start it up, the next time you run it, it's since it's in memory and everything, it runs a lot faster, but the initial startup usually is slow. Uh, it seems to be working. And if I was to go youtube.com slash Nova Spirit Tech, uh, let's pop, do I not have internet? I should have internet. I know I have internet. Wi-Fi not connected. I know the cable is connected. It looks like everything's connected. Let's take a look. Um, head over to network. Huh. It doesn't detect my ethernet. I know it was working the other day because I was using ethernet to plug up everything, but <laughs> this is one, one of the things that I ran into. Like the application is not working network e ethernet adapter is kind of not working right now uh, let's see if i can get wi-fi working wi-fi not connected i could get wi-fi working so i'm gonna rely on that right now but ethernet seems to be down again bugs this is what i these are one of the things you're going to run into if you are running a beta operating system so now that wi-fi is working 
Let's see if I could play a video file. I really do like the tiling in GNOME. I might want to add this extension into my normal setup because I really do enjoy this. Uh, on your first startup, you could actually see how things, uh, you could set up how things should look like. And this menu could actually be like a full bar instead of just a dock. So that's one of the things you could do. Uh, okay, let's see. I'm gonna pop into here. It is a little sluggish. They, I don't think they're using um, the hardware acceleration to plan, run their uh, YouTube. Yeah, see? It's definitely sluggish. Let me skip this ad. Can I pop open Geeks for Nerds? Where is it? I can't even right click on it. All right, I'm not even gonna test it too much. Again, this operating system is taking a lot of toll just to run everything. And I am on non-overclocked. It is running my Raspberry Pi 4 with four gigs of RAM and it's running at 1.5 gigahertz. So needless to say, this operating system is very laggy. <laughs> I don't wanna put it that way and to be honest, I, I really wanted to enjoy this operating system. This is the first time I'm playing around with it. I installed it, ran through the initial setup, and then I'm reviewing it as I go. Uh, if you ever use Pop! OS, uh, you would know exactly how this uh, functions and everything. But mainly, I wanted to see how it runs on the Raspberry Pi 4. And it's not very great right now. Um, I am going to keep testing it. Maybe when it gets out of beta, it might be a little bit better on the performance-wise. But... As of right now, um, it, it, I wouldn't recommend using it as a desktop. If you want to try certain things on Pop! OS onto this uh, Raspberry Pi 4, by all means, go ahead. But I wouldn't recommend using it as a desktop as of now because it doesn't seem um, very fluid or very smooth. And everything I'm trying to click on seems to lag. Even on the terminal, like a system-based icon that should pop up really relatively quick, seems to be a little bit slow. Um, I'm not sure if I could get, let me see if Wayland's working or X11. It's probably X11 on this right now. So let's see. Oops, that's on about. And it is using V33, V3D 4.2. Wow, 64-bit, it's using GNOME 40 and Windows System X11. I wonder if I could get this working on uh, Wayland and maybe have a better experience. I am going to be keeping an eye on Pop! OS because this, if Pop! OS was to come into Raspberry Pi as, a, as an operating system, I would love using it because I just like the feel of uh, Pop! OS and how they optimized everything onto getting things to work. So instead of installing uh, Ubuntu default shell or default installation, I could install Pop! OS and get it to run as a full desktop on the Pi 4 or even the Pi 400 would be a great operating system for it. I would, I could say mainly a lot of this stuff when you're running Ubuntu and running other than Raspberry Pi OS, you will get a way better experience when you're running on either SSD or USB. The SD card does play a huge factor on the read and write, especially opening and closing applications. But again, that doesn't stop all the bugs that are happening to my system, like the ethernet not working or the applications not showing. So I am gonna be keeping an eye on this when it does have a better beta build out or a, maybe a final release out. And I will be doing a full review on this, but I just wanted to let you guys know it's out there, it's happening, and Pop! OS will be coming to Raspberry Pi 4. Anyway, that is it for me, guys. If you have any questions about this, let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hit that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.